Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about your age and if you are too old to fucking do anything. Because I know that's what you think, and it's silly. So you don't have to watch the rest of the video now. You're silly. There are a couple things that we're going to hit right now. And a lot of it um, is coming up because people say things to me all the fucking time. When they say this stuff, they say it because they have been, I don't know if it's programmed or just how they're feeling or whatever, but they will say shit in passing while saying something else. And it, a lot of times it's the same thing over and over again, which is, oh, you know, like I was going to do this. I'm going to do that, but I'm really old and da, 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 da. And some of these motherfuckers are to me young as shit. Okay. And like, um, I even had a 31 year old the other day tell me that they're too old to do certain things. It's ridiculous. The thing that's funny about age, okay, is people say all the time, you're only as old as you feel, okay? And I don't even know if that's right, because there are times when I feel like shit. But the only time I realize how old I am is when someone fucking brings it up and, like, either rubs it in my face or fucking ask me about it you know it is crazy to me and this might just be a me thing and i don't know if this is a mindset thing or what but i don't feel like i've really aged since probably i was like 21 because that was the last age where i turned an age and was able to do something so maybe I'll feel old as shit once my social security kicks in, if that ever fucking happens. But other than that, I don't feel old. Like, I don't think I'm aging. Like, I know I'm aging. I understand that. As much as it might not seem like it the last few years, I'm actually in, like, probably the best shape I've been in in 10 or 12 years you know, like, I don't know what it is about our 30s, okay? That's what I'll use as my whatever. And maybe women go through this in their 20s. I don't fucking know. I'm just talking from experience. I was working a lot. I was raising a family. Between how much time I was spending working and just taking care of the people I was taking care of, I never thought to take care of myself. I don't know if it was like a mental thing where I was like, oh, well, I'll worry about that later. It's not a big deal right now. Blah, 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 whatever. So I'm sure I did things to my body that I should not have done, okay? One of the reasons why this is coming up right now is I wanted to do... A video talking a little bit about how we look at ourselves because my birthday is coming up um, it's gonna be on Wednesday so whenever you watch this whatever the next Wednesday is well from the time I post this I'm going to be 46 that's over the hump okay what does that mean to me not a whole lot because it's just, yes, that's how old I am right now, okay? One of the things that I hear people say all the time about their age is that they can't do certain things because they hadn't started those things yet, okay? And that is something that's totally crazy to me because, like, all you have to do to fix that is start that thing. And then you can't say that you can't start it because you just did. So for those of you out there who are like, because there's going to be two schools of people here. One is going to be 
the people who go, man, when I was this age, I really thought by this age, I would be in a totally different place. And I'm really bummed out that I'm not there yet. And I really thought that by this age, I would really have my shit together. Okay. So I'm going to let all you guys in on something. Whoever you are, no matter what age you are, no matter what income bracket you fall in, okay? And I don't care how fucking wealthy you are or successful you are, you are never going to feel like you have it figured out, okay? The reason why people who are successful and wealthy are successful and wealthy is because they know everything is constantly changing. Everything is constantly in flux, and it's adaptation to situations which makes you be able to survive and thrive during those things, okay? Now, those people who are super rich and super successful, they don't have it figured out. They figure it out as they go. The thing that keeps everybody else way down low is this idea that you need to have everything figured out before you do anything, okay? Because, like, you know, you don't want to, like, start going and, like, going off half-cocked and all this other shit. Your plans will always fail. The only way you will ever do anything is by just starting to do something. And then things happen. And then you're... I'm not going to call it luck because it's not luck when something happens you decide what to do next and you just have to make good decisions and a lot of those good decisions are going to be based upon your life experience so what i'm getting at with all this stuff is is that you have to do something in order to get anywhere okay like if i'm sitting in this chair and i want to be mm -hmm. at disneyland I can't just be, well, I need to be at Disneyland, but I'm not there. I'm here. The only way to get to Disneyland is to get up off this chair and walk out the door and head towards Anaheim. That's how you get to Disneyland, okay? That is one thing you have to do. The next thing is, is the people who feel like their life is already set. They've already done what they thought they needed to do. And their life is going in a certain way and it has been for a long time and they're comfortable in this life they have. But at the same time, there's tons of shit that they haven't done that they always wanted to do. And a lot of times people feel like they can't do those things because they haven't done them yet. Well, I've never done anything like that before. I've always thought about it, but I haven't. And I'm already this old, so I probably just shun it. If you listen to a lot of the words I said in there, there was a lot of probablys. There was a lot of should and shouldn't haves and stuff like that. Those words don't matter. Those aren't real. Okay? You either do things or you don't. Now, are things scary? Yes. Everything's scary. I get scared all the time. I get scared when I hear noises. I get scared with some of the thoughts I have. So yes, everything's fucking terrifying and scary. You just have to keep doing things. Now, um, I was going to do this video on Wednesday. And the reason why I'm doing it today is because MJ posted a video today that was just absolutely touching and amazing. So I will remember to link the video Um in this, I'll either do a card or do a thing down below here. If any of you ever have wanted to do something, just fucking try it. What's it going to hurt? Like, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of people thinking something of you? Are you afraid that you might look stupid? Are you afraid people will say things? Who fucking cares? Just do the thing that you want to do. Because you only live once, you, you have no idea how long that's going to be for. It could be a day, it could be a year, it could be a generation. Who fucking knows? You know? I've never been someone, 
who liked the idea of having regrets. You know, like I want to do all the things. I want to, um, I want to eat all the food. I want to smoke all the cigarettes. I want to drink all the drinks. I want to go to all the places. I want to do whatever the fuck it is I want to do when I want to do it. It's weird because like my kid, my kid, my little kid is going to be 21 this year. 21. That's crazy. Does that make me feel old? No, it makes me feel like how the fuck did that happen? That's crazy. Oh, well, here we go. Let's do something. Like, all of these milestones should never make you feel less than. Okay? Like, each year, you age. At most, you're getting wiser. Like, you're you're understanding more of the world. And if you feel like you're not doing that, then that's something you need to look into. If you don't think... You're smarter now than you were five years ago? What the fuck are you doing? We should always be growing with like our intelligence, our wisdom, the whole fucking thing. The only reason why people live a long time is so they could warn others of all the dumb fucking things they're going to do, right? So be that person that could fucking warn young kids from doing dumb shit. Another thing, and why... Like, in the Poetic Anarchy course, there is a whole lesson on age and how um, all these people, like, didn't do the thing until they were much older. Like, fucking Cervantes didn't fucking um, do Don Quixote until he was, like, in his 80s. Um, My favorite book, uh, Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut, that was... Kurt Vonnegut wrote that to himself for a 50th birthday Mm. present. You know, I think the chick that wrote the black stallion or something like that, some book about a horse that's really popular, um, that she wrote that in her nineties or some shit. Things happen whenever you want them to happen. So don't put shit off. And the reason why I say don't put shit off, because a lot of you ask, how is it that I'm able to do all the stuff that I do? It's crazy because it's basically been 20 years. Like where I'm at right now, as much as it doesn't look like it, this is the culmination of 20 years, okay? And it's because I was in a band. We put out a bunch of records um, and all that shit is online and I still get money from that okay I made movies I made a lot of movies and depending on where you are in the world some of those movies are easier to see than others I still get money from that okay Um, I've written a shit ton of books I still get money from that a lot of people get hung up on like, especially with books, wanting to be a bestseller. Like, oh, I just need to be a bestseller. I just need to have one book that's, like, fucking crazy. It's, like, a big hit book. You don't. If you have a bunch of books that sell, okay, you're fine. I've talked to a lot of people recently who have manuscripts of many books sitting around. Because they want the validation of a press putting that book out. That's what will make them feel like they made it. That's what is important to them. I'm going to let you guys all in on a little something. Validation from some motherfucker is great. But you know what's really great? Money. Money's fun. Money is awesome. Money is validation that you could pay for stuff with. It's great. Okay? So if you have a lot of stuff, put it out. And then those things become passive fucking income. And it's not 100% passive because every, I don't know, year or two years, maybe even six months, depending on who you talk to, you should like go through and like do like a new edition, make a new book cover, do a new marketing ad for something like that. Something along these lines. Okay, just to spruce it up a little bit. Okay, but when you have all of these things, that's validating. Like knowing that like, oh shit, 
I'm not homeless right now, and it's just because I've done all this shit. That's really validating, okay? So for any of you out there who are like seeking validation or an okay or like you need someone outside of you to tell you that you should like chase your dreams, you should do this thing, I'll I'll do it. Go do that thing. You're good enough. You can do it, okay? You don't need it from anybody else. You don't even fucking need it from me. But if you needed to hear that, there you go. You're good enough. You can do this. You deserve it. Now, all you have to do is fucking do the thing. Okay? I don't care how fucking old you are. You could be fucking in your late 90s, pissing through a catheter, eating through an IV, and some hot nurse comes and wipes your ass out of a bedpan. I don't give a shit. You can do it. It's fine. It's really not hard. Just do the shit. The longer you do the shit, the more stuff you put out, the more, the closer you're going to be to having your art, your work take care of you. It's never too late. You can do it right now. And like I have a podcast episode with uh, Adam Crawford coming out in a little bit where he talks about um, the cost of printing chapbooks on his own was too much for what he wanted to do so he's just been making audiobooks and putting them up on Bandcamp for free like it doesn't cost him anything to do that that's how he's been getting his work out you know like do whatever you have to do you know what i'm saying age doesn't matter it's a fucking number who gives a shit i feel better now than i have in fucking years of doing shit And I think we just get smarter as we get older. Don't ever feel like your age is the thing that's keeping you from doing things. Just know that you can do it, you know? So do the thing. Type hard, everybody. Keep buying my books, join the Anarchy Crew, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.